Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial here on my channel and today I'm going to show you a few different designs for Trident Killers that go from simple and super easy to super fast and super efficient. So let's start off with the most basic one. This one is perfect for mob spawners. If you find a skeleton spawner, a zombie spawner and you want to link them up into maybe an experience grinder this one suits you perfectly. It kills them as soon as they come in and they will never be backlogging and you get a lot of experience for a mob spawner. So this one, super simple. Just have a piston looking into the same place. Trident there, two observers. And this one is just a shutdown mechanism. So it's super easy to do this. And then if I put a skeleton dropping in there, yeah, you can see he dies pretty easily. I can just keep putting them in and you can see they die super fast. They don't actually come in at super fast rates from a mob spawner. So this thing actually keeps up perfectly. To catch the drops from this thing, you just need to do this. You just need to put a minecart hopper underneath where they die. Imagine they die in there on the grass. So you need to put a minecart hopper there on top of a rail and then you just use an hopper line to take the drops wherever you want so super easy super simple and this one is the most basic one then you have this one this one is perfect to witch farms creeper farms or guardian farms so things where you may actually you may actually have a lot of things coming in you want a bigger one you want to have this thing which if i turn this on and jump onto here you can see the trident goes back and forth and through all these positions dealing damage so if i just spawn a load of skeletons real quick there we go you can see they pretty much all get damaged and they eventually die so this thing is not the fastest design i'll get into an even faster design in a bit and a slower one if you need a slower one because sometimes on some realms they may end up just glitching out through the walls so you may want to slow this down or if you have a good realm and you want to speed them up, I can actually show you how to speed this thing up as well. Then you have the laggy version one. This one is good for laggy realms or if you're having problems with mobs glitching out of this thing. So let me just put this while I talk this. Yeah, while I talk about this. So this will take a while to kill all of these. This thing takes like pretty much double the resources of that one. But this thing makes sure that the mobs do not get pushed over, pushed over like and glitch out of this thing because that can happen there and in case you're having issues this one is the best design is super slower you can see it has a couple tridents in there to try and make it faster but still and yeah this is good for laggy realms or if you're having issues with mobs glitching through then you have my own design a super fast killer so it's low fast killer and let me just show you this thing working this is super fast there we go this thing is amazing i came i came about doing this while trying things to make a wither a wither killer and a wither skeleton killer and boom this thing just works amazingly so there's two tridents here uh, that's why this thing is so fast. It's killing them in two s separate ways. And but to catch the, the drops from this, you actually need to put them like he you need to put a minecart like this, or else you will not be able to get all of those drops. You either put two, like you maybe put like a rail here and a minecart hopper here, and then you do the same here or even here, um, or you put one in the middle. To put one in the middle, you just use some glass panes like around here and then you put a rail down and then you push the minecart into the, the glass panes then you break the glass panes and it aligns perfectly in the middle so this is how you catch the drops from this one so let me actually show you how to make this this trident killers real quick oh and by the way if you're using impaling five tridents just bear in mind that it will do a lot more damage to all the mobs, so they will most likely die a lot faster in the farms if you just use an impaling 5 trident instead of a normal trident. So whenever you see me throw a trident in there, if you make it an impaling 5 a trident, it will do even more damage. So, to start off with the first trident killer design. So basically, 
you want to try and get this thing for mob spawners or every far any farm that you can put the mobs coming into like a one white tunnel and a farm that doesn't have a lot of things in it because if this thing has a lot of mobs in it it will not be super effective like taking care of them because it takes a while because it's just one piston going back and forth so basically you want to push this thing like this the trapdoor is here so you can actually if you use this to in a zombie in a zombie spawner you can close this so hopefully the baby zombies will not glitch out uh, because if you leave this open the baby zombies just come out and kill you but if you just have a trapdoor there they cannot get out of there unless they glitch but if they glitch you can actually do some other things to prevent it from happening so pretty much you just have a trident laying in there this one is super is a super simple design you can even put a block here to help you place this observer looking into here and to place the final observer you reach here you look into that one and this thing is working. I cut the trident, I just put it and there it goes. So if I were to increase this thing and put a wither skeleton and boom, is dead. So this thing works wonders in case you want to maybe have a shutdown mechanism like this thing real quick. So pretty much you just need to place it one block away, stick a piston here and lever here and this thing stops and I got the trident again. Works wonders and you pull it back and it stops working. This is so you don't have a lot of noise in your farm. Now you have this one. This one is perfect for witch farms, creeper farms or even guardian farms if you're sending all of them into one place. So this one can be easily built if you just have four pistons, four droppers four observers and a lever that's that's it and then you have some building blocks of course so in order to build this just find the the area where you will be dropping your mobs imagine it's like right there you put it a two by two then you go to like these corners right here and you just place down the pistons super easy super simple you break these ones right here in order to give you a little bit more space you place droppers in the corners, like all corners with the dropper. And then you pick an observer. You come like through this angle. It's the best angle you can actually put this and looking into the observer. You want to have the observers looking into the dropper. Sorry, you have to have the observers like this with the arrow pointing into the piston. That's how you know it's correct. Like this. And like this. This way you know this thing is correct. If the arrow points into the piston. And this is done. You can pretty much close this right now. And here. I'm going to even pump this up a few levels. Class so I can see. And you just need to power this thing. So a lever there. You see it goes once. But as soon as you flick this again. It just keeps going. Then you just need to of course put a trident in there. And if you want to AFK, just put a little bit of glass on one side and the experience will get to you easy. Like, no problem. And this is a super good design. Then you can actually just decorate it on the way and whatever you want. And to get the drops from this thing, you can use the same design as this. This thing, super easy to build, will still catch the drops from this one. Now, onto this one. Okay, now this farm is super good if you're playing on a laggy realm or if you're having any issue with mobs glitching out of that one. If you want to slow this thing down so you can handle the mobs that are coming in a little bit better so they don't actually glitch through and kill you if you're AFKing near this, this is the best way on going. So I recommend you choosing like the same place you want to build this, like a two by two and mark this thing out. Then you want to put the pistons looking into the middle. It takes a little bit more resources, but believe me, if you have a laggy realm, this thing helps a lot. Then you want to place those blocks temporarily in order to make it easier for you to place these observers. Super easy, super fast. 
you can see they will actually trigger now while we're breaking this there we go Let's just catch this thing real quick then you want to get to these corners and put a block you have two block f2 block f2 block and one two block there we go then what you want to be doing is deciding to which way you want them to actually fire this thing is actually not very important so if you do it like this there we go and you want these these repeaters all of them to be in the max time like this so this way none of your pistons will get desynced and break each other and then you want to add a line on all of these just connecting every single thing yeah there we go and then the missing link is this torch this torch right here as soon as you put a torch in here this thing will cycle itself through you can see super easy super simple you put one or two tridents in there they just keep going into there you can actually just you can really quick test this just by doing like this and putting some look some glass so we can see what's going on in here and let me just put some withers there they go and there they die then if you want to turn this off just put a lever there and this thing shuts itself off so really good design for leggy servers it handles the mobs a lot better now on to my super fast killer uh that's why these blocks are in place these blocks are to prevent them from glitching out so if you're having problems with them glitching out i, I actually advise you to try this one or try that one this one should work no matter whatever you're playing that one if you're on a laggy server could have some issues so this one will work but if you're perfectly fine and you want to kill the mob super fast build this thing this thing is insane so it goes the same way you find the same 2x2 two two where you want the mobs to be placed then you put two like this and like so far it's the same thing as the other one you put the observers looking into this there we go oh don't break that one put the observers looking into them so they get powered then you actually need to have some blocks here because this thing will fire super fast i'm gonna put some glass here there we go then you're gonna do the same thing uh with blocks here here like two blocks away same thing just as the other one and two blocks away so this thing makes it so that you can power it here all the same and then you need some redstone dust into here powering every single thing there we go and then you just need the torch and this thing goes back and forth super fast and you want to have a trident on the left and you want to have a trident on the right so whatever mobs come into here they will always get hit by two tridents so if you have mobs on the left they will they'll be dying if you have mobs on the right they will be dying as you can see this thing is super super fast super easy to build uh, but I also recommend you to do this in your corners if you don't put these blocks in your corners you will most likely have mobs glitching out of this thing I mean and to stop this you just need to put a lever there and the whole thing shuts down and I can actually just turn this one on and show you again how it deals with this massive amount of skeletons I can put more into there and this thing just shoots through mobs so if you have an insane mob farm this is the best and the fastest trident killer you can have so yeah hopefully all these trident killers may be helpful to you if you are at any point in the game where you need one of these choose between any one of these and you'll be perfectly fine they all still work in the current version of minecraft that being 1.16 so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little tutorial, 
hopefully I've been helpful to you and see you in the next one. Goodbye.